Welcome to the Positive Experience Podcast, where we look at the good, the bad, and the ugly in living your best life. Today's segment is called In the Trenches, where we look behind the scenes at what's happening in the clinic. Hey guys, how you going? My name's Lecky. And I'm Ben. And welcome to The Trenches episode today on the Positive Experience Podcast. Today is um, a theme of Q&A, and we're going to give you a bit of a snapshot on... Um, yeah, type of pe- type of people that we see in the clinic. So, how about you fire us? Uh, so, Ben's going to be the presenter, and I'll be um, the talking head, giving a real account on how it is in the trenches. How's that sound? Cool. All right. So, Lecky, um, give us a quick rundown on a patient you've had in the last week that has presented with those sort of uh, common lower back pain symptoms. Perfect. So, last week. I, uh, just off the top of my head, there's uh, someone that's come in with an acute uh, aggravation of her back pain, but it's been a long-term chronic problem. Okay, unfortunately, it was an injury at work, and uh, with some of the restrictions with COVID-19, um, she was struggling uh, with managing at home, and so she sought uh, some follow-up, some advice, and some help uh, in her back pain, which wasn't just like it was early days, which was just in the back, she was starting to develop some new signs, which gave her cause for concern. Okay. All right. So that's, yeah, it sounds like a pretty common sort of pattern that, especially these times, a lot of people being a bit more sedentary with their day-to-day lives, these symptoms can start to ramp up again. So give us a bit of a rundown on how you saw that person, what sort of steps you took to their assessment, and then give us a few treatment ideas. Perfect. So uh, when she called by, it was it was great because we were able to see her in our physical clinic. So she was able to, in good enough shape, to call into the clinic and see me face to face. So after having a chat and uh, getting her to paint me a picture through my questions on how this new back pain developed, how it came on and how it developed, and how she s- saw it or thought it was worsening, was really important for me so that way I could understand her environment and the circumstances around the back pain being re-aggravated. So I would have spent maybe a third of the session just asking a lot of important questions just to make sure it's clear in my mind and it's consistent with what she was also reporting. And then from there, I determined the best way to move forward, which was to treat um, a aggravated back in terms of, was it more of a muscular problem was it more of a bony issue or did it have signs of a disc pain? I thought, let's let's move down this disc management pathway and started on a bit of simple homework for her to begin with and then moved into some treatment into the clinic to help her with her pain. Great. All right. So how did you find that during that session the treatment was pretty effective and gave her some good homework? It was. It was. So she, she kind of hobbled in and she got a lot of relief on the way out. So she wasn't 100% better, but you know she found the improvements. But most importantly, she knew what she had to look out for, where the landmines and the pitfalls were in her home environment, what the main do's and don'ts are in terms of her back pain with uh, innocent looking tasks. Um, you know, we sort of shed some light on that so that she can manage herself more appropriately because a big portion of our work here is promoting self-care, just arming you with enough tools um, so that you can assist yourself in your recovery. And we're there with you to help you every step of the way as you need us until you get to the point where you're out and about living your life as you should be out there and amongst it. So um, she was a really good case because... uh, I had seen her a fortnight earlier, and uh, we also helped her online by our telehealth service. And so we were just reinforcing some of our primary principles to help her with her pain. Um, and then there were some, some things there that uh, she found which was not helping her back pain, which we reinforced last week. So I'd be interested to see how things follow up this week when we catch up. Great. Sounds like a success story there. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's on the right track. One of the main things is just making sure that you're trying to stay attentive to what people are reporting, you know, because sometimes you have in my own mind, okay, this is the best way forward, but there may be something that you say that I pick up on and it changes the whole trajectory of where I think we should be going. So it's a very sort of an open communication loop here. So we, uh, we're kind of like passengers in the same plane, you know, so we want to make sure that 
that we're driving it in the right direction, but at the same time, making sure that you're giving us great directions so we know where to land the plane. Okay, I hope that metaphor works. <laughs> so that's, that's a, a, a simple uh, snapshot on what a, a back pain person is, is looking like on, on our books right now. So that's a clear case of somebody that I'm managing both in our physical location plus helping her at home with um, our telehealth service. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a challenge because these are challenging time, times for us all. But, uh, you know, this is the best time to rise to the occasion, you know, when you're being put to the test. So I appreciate uh, people who are, who are open to our new help and um, looking to take up our telehealth opportunity. But if you still need help, you can definitely call by and see us in our physical locations. So I think uh, that's our, our trenches episode for today. I think one of the things that we wanted to do is uh, introduce Ben so you can get to know his voice, you know, get a touch, taste, feel. And, uh, you know, with this uh, Q&A format, the next time we'll catch up will be probably in a couple of weeks. And uh, Ben will share with you his five W's, the who, what, where, when, why, and who on his university experience. So look out for that one. It will drop um, at some time down the track. Cool. Any party thoughts, Ben? Any last questions? Uh, Any no, comments? Think, you know, great snapshot of the common patient that we see in the clinic and gives us some people some great ideas and to know that, you know, we can help them digitally and in the clinic. So it's really great. Awesome. Yep. We're in the 21st century wave as well, <laughs> just like you guys. All right, guys, enjoy your, your day whenever you're seeing this. Stay happy and healthy out there. Remember, always making healthy simple. See you guys.